It's been a long time since I did a vacuum purge and flush with dry nitrogen on a system. This is one of the shop painters, uh, personal family vehicle. So I'm gonna use him as a guinea pig because uh, he just replaced the condenser. I condemned it. When did I do this one? Uh, back of five of 24, I told him he had a leaking condenser. It was really small, had a typical little dollar size black oil stain with dust on it and uh but he needed it right away to go south to somewhere hot in uh during the summertime and um you know do something so i just filled it up and just now he replaced the condenser so right now i'm doing the vacuum decay i brought it down to vacuum and i had it all the way down to like 435 microns i shut off the vacuum you see the vacuum is the vacuum is shut off and we have decayed to 840 this is a dual AC system. If you look back here on the section line, you can see that T off to the rear that goes to the evaporator in the back of this vehicle. So this is a huge system. So right now I have it hooked up to the nitrogen. Let's purge in a little dry nitrogen and I go from high side to low side. We purge through in the direction of a, a flow of refrigerant. So I'm just gonna crack it open here a little bit. I can't remember what pressure I have that tank set up. It must be pretty high. Okay, that was a small crack. We brought it up to negative six. Do that again. I'm just going for about zero or positive one or two, and there I go, I'm almost positive three. So now I close the high side. So we filled up the high side and we pushed any moisture that came to the surface along all the lines towards the low side extraction point. So now the low side is closed, uh, high side is closed, low side is open and let's open it again let's see how long that takes we'll do a little comparison to here too uh what i will do is we'll hook up the second vacuum pump uh, even though it is only a small quarter inch going through a line that's really restrictive we'll have two up anyway on the third time that i do this so where are we going at right now? We are going down to 4,000, 3,000. Now remember, this is a very large dual evaporator with a lot of refrigerant line going all the way to the rear quarter panel and back. So it takes a little longer than a car. So let me, uh, here you can see we're going down. We're approaching where we leveled out where our vacuum decay before. You see our vacuum decay was 840 microns so i'm not going to let this go we'll come back and take a second uh video snapshot because we're not going to wait for this to go down because it's going to take quite a while and i'll go into a second decay once i get below where my first time i went to, i think 435 microns i'll let this go down below 435 microns do a nitrogen sweep again because I'm trying to get as much moisture out of his system as I can as possible. So let's come back, second video, but this, this at least shows you one sweep of nitrogen and going back into vacuum again.